hi guys welcome back to another video so today i am thinking of doing something a little bit kind of different um i already have most of my makeup done and i had lipstick on but then i remembered that i've had several discussions within the past week or so with different people um saying that they like the way that my lipstick looks and they want to know how i put it on so I wanted to go ahead and do kind of like a tutorial on how to get your lipstick to look smooth and like how I apply it. Maybe just to give you guys an idea of how to put it on. Um, and I know there's probably a million YouTube videos out there on this exact same thing, but I wanted to go ahead and do one. So first what we're going to do is we are going to use an exfoliator to exfoliate our lips. So this is especially needed if you're going to be wearing a matte lipstick, which is basically those lipsticks that have no shine to them. They're very dry. And if you get, I don't want to say cheap ones because I've come across some expensive ones that do the same thing. But some matte lipsticks, if you put on too much, your lips will feel like tacky and weird and they'll like stick together and they feel dry and it's just really weird um so we're gonna exfoliate first so that there's no texture and like flakiness on your lips so what i'm using is i'm using the fizz and bubble lip exfoliator and you open it up and it looks like this it looks like sugar and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take just a little bit of that on your finger and you're just gonna rub it on your lips. It has an oil built into it, so you don't need to wet it or anything. And then when you're done, you just lick it off because it's edible. Okay, so I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it basically leaves your lips. It has an oil in it, so it moisturizes, and then it has like little sugar granules that are flavored to make it taste good so that you want to lick it off, and they have, I know Fizz and Bubble has a bunch of different flavors. This one is sugar tart. Um, I know they have like a mojito flavored one. They have strawberry, they have blueberry, they have watermelon, they have rainbow sherbet, they have sugar cookie. They're, they have like a bunch of different flavors. Like it is one of my person. I have horrible goals apparently, but it's one of my personal goals to like collect every flavor so that I can like change it up depending on my mood. <laughs> Um, I need to get better goals, but, um, so we're going to go ahead and exfoliate. Now, I recommend that you do this at least once a week, maybe more frequently if you have like really chapped lips that constantly has like little pieces of skin on it. That's what I would recommend. You, you kind of, it's a trial and error kind of thing. I definitely wouldn't do it every day, especially not if you have like really sensitive lips. Um, I would only do it every day if you do find that you have those little pieces of skin that are hanging off, that are, you know, dry and crackly and crispy. Um, because even if you wear like a normal lipstick, it's just going to draw attention to it and you really don't want that. I am also going to go ahead and apologize. I took on a hair project yesterday. And when I was shampooing her out, we did like a bright pink magenta color. And when I was shampooing her out, I didn't wear gloves. So my hands got a little stained. So you're going to see some crazy pink. You're going to see some crazy pink hands. But I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in. If I can, I might just pick you up and move you closer. So you can see, please excuse the fact that the makeup, the foundation around my lips is missing. Um, you can see they're moisturized. There's nothing hanging off of them. So now we're gonna go ahead 
and we're gonna get into the lipstick part. So you're gonna pick out, I already have my liner picked out. I use the same liner every time, except for if I'm wearing red lipstick, I will use a red liner if I'm wearing red lipstick. But this is just, it matches my lips. It matches my lip color perfectly. So this is what I use. And then you can just pick whatever lipstick you want. So today I'm gonna do something a little bit brighter just so that you guys can really, really see it. I'm gonna do like a bright pink. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move you guys like way closer to me so that you guys can see better. First, what we're gonna do is I have my little mirror. So I overline my lips. Just giving you a heads up. I overline them. But if that's not something that you want to do, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna follow the outline of your lips with lip liner. So that's step one. Well, technically, step two, because exfoliation was step one. So No, when I overline my lips, I just go over, like just over the outside of my lip line. Okay, so they're aligned. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the pencil and you're gonna fill in your lips with it. This will help your lipstick last longer and it won't come off as easily. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it just kind of has to be on there. Now, if you are going to overline your lips, my biggest recommendation to you is in the corners, don't overline the corners. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to actually start where your natural lip is. So don't go outside of that pink line, like don't go outside of the pink, stay in the pink, like right on the edge of it and then transition into going outside of the pink. Because if you don't do that, then your lips are just gonna, like the corners are gonna look weird and it's gonna look clowny and no one wants that. And I'm really quick. I'm gonna touch up a little bit the corner of my mouth and around because it's irritating me seeing my actual skin peeking out. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. So, we have our lip liner on. Now we're gonna take our lipstick. Now this is one that I got, I had told you guys in a previous video about one of those lipstick, or that uh, makeup website that I found that everything's like a dollar on there. This is one of the lipsticks that I got. And it's called a Wonder Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is the color Roxy. This, this tube of lipstick only cost me a dollar. I don't think I've ever used it. I think I swatched it, but we'll see how it goes. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to get product on the applicator, not a bunch, because with matte liquid lipsticks, 
the more you put on, the gummier it's going to be. So we're going to take our product and we're just going to go right over top of everything that we lined. So I like to start up top. Pick up a little bit more product if you need to. There we go. And it's not going to be super even because I'm trying to like do this quick so that this isn't a super long video because I wanted this to be a shorter one. But that's how you put lipstick on. Now if you have like the traditional screw top lipsticks, it might be a little bit more difficult to put it on. What I would recommend, and this is like doing the most, this is being super extra, use a lip brush and get your product from your stick lipstick on the brush and then paint it on. That's my recommendation. Um, now, with liquid lipsticks, you have to let them dry, so you can't eat or drink anything until they dry, or else they're just going to come off. And then reapplying them can be a pain in the behind because they'll like there'll be so much product on there that it'll start to flake off. So you need to wait until it dries down, and then you can eat and you can drink. But I'm gonna go ahead and move you guys back to where you were. Okay. Okay, so sorry. I know that this was a shorter video today, but I didn't want to take up a bunch of time. Um, I wanted this to be super, you know, short, sweet, to the point. So that's what I have for you guys today. Um, send me ideas of different things that you guys want to get ideas on how to do or learn how to do. I'm more than happy to help. Um, most of the time, the things that inspire me most to make videos is people reaching out and asking me questions or saying that they don't know how to do fill in the blank. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I had someone approach me earlier this week, actually two people earlier this week approach me about they don't know how to put on lipstick. Well, here I am to help. I'm not saying that my way is the best way but it's a way. So, um, if you guys have anything you, you know, in particular you want to see, message me, comment, reach out to me somehow. I'm going to put my Instagram and my Facebook page link below in the description box. Um, that way you guys can find me and send me questions and I'll try to find the answers if I don't have them. Um, also, if you enjoy these types of videos, please like and subscribe, please. Um, so you guys also have the option when you click the subscribe button, there's a little bell next to it. That way you guys can be notified when I put videos up or when I start interacting on YouTube. That way you guys don't have to wonder. I wonder if she's put anything up. YouTube will let you know. YouTube will tell you, hey, Kate does hair, just put another video up. And then you can go and check it out. It's great how technology works. Anyways, so that's what I have for you guys today. Um, I'm waiting for some inspiration for another video, so reach out, inspire me. Inspire me, give me something to make a video about. But until then... I hope you guys have a great day, stay safe, and enjoy your week, wherever you are in your week when you're watching this. Enjoy the rest of your week. Live in every moment. Yeah.
That's what I got.